After 40 years as a marketing and strategy person in the business community, I saw something this month that I've never seen before. Did you know that there is a citywide Petaluma Marketing Committee that meets every month? This month they met at the Hotel Petaluma, and I want to show you what happened. First of all, a sneak peek at the renovation that is going on at the Hotel Petaluma right now is absolutely breathtaking. Built in 1923, Hotel Petaluma has welcomed visitors for almost a century. The new ownership is working towards a rebirth of the building to contribute to the growth of Petaluma as a forward-thinking community. This particular citywide marketing meeting took place in the recently renovated Elegant Dining Hall, where formal dinners were held back in the day and is now again available as a banquet facility for weddings, receptions, meetings, and parties for any occasion. We showed up early while our town's movers and shakers were still arriving, all very excited about the prospects of listening to a lineup of guest speakers representing media outlets from all over Sonoma County, advertising reps actually, who were given the opportunity to hit these Petaluma merchants and service providers with their best shot, leading into the holiday selling season. We first heard from Sherry Bennett Jackson, representing the Argus Courier and Press Democrat. Then came Tim Clark from Money Mailer, a company recognized as a leader in the direct marketing industry. Then all the way from the city came Adam Wallace, who sells for the San Francisco Chronicle. Next up was Stephanie Garzoli from Wine Country Radio, who told her story with enthusiasm. Paula Wise was next with Sonoma West Publishers, Sonoma County weekly newspapers that include the Hillsburg Tribune and the Windsor Times. Petaluma's very own Terry Smith was also there, owner of the Petaluma Post, reminding everyone that people like to read his newspaper, which is distributed throughout our town. We then heard from Emily Richter, representing the Marin Independent Journal. And last, but certainly not least, we heard from Tess Fallon from KZST, the station that plays adult contemporary music with a family-friendly format aimed at so-called soccer moms who often listen to the radio with their children present. All kidding aside, personally, I have never seen anything like this, as each sales rep had about five minutes to lay it all out there right in front of their competition with nothing more than a pitch and a personality. It was showtime. The more we watched, the more we realized what a brilliant idea this was, because it saved the audience hours, even days, of research time when setting to work laying out their advertising budgets for the holiday selling season. It was just all presented to them right there on a silver platter. A very special thank you to the Petaluma Visitor Center for dreaming up this incredibly innovative business forum. A heartfelt thank you to the new Hotel Petaluma crew for saving and actually improving this wonderful downtown landmark building. And congratulations to all the participating advertising reps for braving the white-hot spotlight. Don't you just love this town?